limits understanding concepts. So these are first few examples on the limits. We are just trying to understand different ways limits can be found. And uh, here is one find limit of this function when limit of n approaches 2. And the function is square root of n square plus 3n minus 1 using properties of limits to evaluate. Okay, using properties of limits. Okay, so that is the question, right? Now, just as in algebra, we have similar properties of limits, right? So you can add limits, you can subtract limits, you can multiply them, you can find square root, and you can square them. So all these properties uh, work for limits as well. So, so what we can, using properties, we can write this as limit, see carefully how we write this. We say limit of this function can be written as square root of, we write limit of n approaches 2 for n square plus limit of 3n when n approaches 2 minus limit when n approaches 2 for 1. So basically the sum of limits, the product of limits and the square of limits all can be combined together. So that is what the properties of limits is. So we can write this as when you substitute 2 here you get 2 square which is 4, right? So we can write this as 4 plus 2 times 3. n is 2, 2 times 3 is 6 minus for a constant limit is always same whether it's approaching 2 or any number you get 1 here. Right? And this is equals to square root of 4 plus 6 is 10, 10 minus 1 is 9, and square root of 9 is 3. And therefore, the limit of this function as n approaches 2 is 3.